Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 8 of Europa Universalis 4 as Venice. We have um, just taken another idea group which allows us to drastically increase the size of our navy, which is now quite good. We actually have a second cardinal, which I think is laughable considering we don't actually gain any papal influence whatsoever. Because uh, we are rivaled with the Pope. We've gained our CBs. We want to go and... Um, Revoke our embargo against Aragon. Uh, there is still Montenegrin separatists. Where are you guys going to pop? Um, where are you? Yeah, I see that, but where? Zeta. The only place we have any unrest. Montenegrin separatists, fair enough. So let's make sure we've got the army there to deal. And that should sort that problem out. Now then, there was something else I was going to do with my diplomat. That was it. I was going to go and fabricate a claim down here. On Dana. And the plan was to sort of take Benghazi and take Sirt. Sirt has a Tripoli's core on it. So we could release Tripoli and then feed them those provinces and turn them into a march. It's kind of the plan that I've got going on. Might not work out that way. Okay, so we are still making money. We're out of manpower again. Because we're having to fight those rebels. Right, okay, growth of the Murano glass industry. Since the 13th century, the Venetian glassmaking industry has been confined to the islands of Murano in order to lessen the risk of fire. The popularity of the Murano glass has only continued to increase since then, and the glass blowers have become both rich and influential. The secrets of how to produce such exquisite products are known to few outside the borders in order to safeguard this knowledge that the glass blowers are confined to the city. As the popularity of Venetian glass continues to increase, the world is changing. With the fall of Constantinople, a great number of men possessing the rare skills needed in glassmaking are requesting to be allowed to go and settle down on Murano. So, we can gain 30 ducats, 5 prestige, and we'd also get um, plus 20% local tax modifier. Bear in mind that's local tax modifier, so it's just in one province. It is Venezia though, so it is our capital. 20% tax modifier in the capital. Or gain 5 mercantilism. Um... I will, but hang on, both of them give us the 20% um, tax modifier and guilds influence. I don't mind the guilds having more influence, but 5 mercantilism is great. But what what's that going to do to our tax coming from Venezia? Venezia is currently giving us... No, that's the army. I want the province. Um, 1.19... Well, 11 ducats yearly, uh, basically. So monthly tax it will generate a yearly income of 14.38. Let's go and take the... Well, I want the mercantilism. So we lose some manpower modifier because the guilds are now in a position of power. But that has already gone up to 17.13. That is a quite a significant difference. I am happy with that. Let's go and have all of the lights protecting trade in Venice. The rebels have fired, which we expected. We were already there, though. And it is in the mountains. We do have a general. So we've dealt with that. That's got rid of all of the uprisings, which is nice. Although, again, it's hurting manpower. We do have some money. Do we want to build any buildings? Do we want to grab a... Do we want more manpower? Is there anything that would give us a lot of manpower for building one of these things? Probably not. So how about we carry on looking at trade and taxation buildings. I think we had one more up here that was decent. No, 0 0.8, 1 1.3, 1.2. Well, I think we wait a little while on that. We'll save the money. Try and get our armies up to full strength. I do have free diplomats again now. Is it worth doing anything... Yeah, Naples is still under that union. I mean, it could end. There's a possibility. Naples actually quite likes us. Let's go and try and improve relations with them. I know it doesn't really make a lot of difference when they belong to somebody else, but um, 
We'll see what we can do with it. Milan has declared war on Ferrara. Did we ever, well, we never did that mission, did we? We took the mission, never never even tried to do it. It was to uh, improve relations with these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and improve relations with them, get that mission done. Almost forgot about that one. I knew there was something else that I wanted to do with my diplomat. So we're going to try and get our... Um, now, the Mamluks, to say, they do have some allies, not any that I'm particularly bothered about. Uh, the question is, what do they have in terms of a navy and an army? So we'll look at the armies first of all. The Mamluks currently have 25,000 men. It's quite a few. They've got a decent army. Navy. They have 24 ships, 12 of which are, which are transports. They do have a heavy. So we might have to get ourselves a couple of heavies, which I don't think is a bad idea. We can afford to do it. I'm going to grab two heavies. Because they're going to be worth having. Let's just grab all of those light ships. I, I was holding control there again. There we go. Um, you guys are all going to group up in one province. Otherwise this won't work. Group you up. Protect trade. Venice. Oh, we are paused. You are protecting trade. What have we got here? Okay, let's deal with these things one at a time. So guilds can gain influence. Aristocrats lose influence. We'll gain spy offence but lose spy defense, or we can lose a diplomat for three years. Do I want to lose a diplomat? Not really. I'll just take that one. Okay, Lithuania has declared war on Poland. Wow. Poland is requesting that you come to their aid in the Lithuanian War for Independence. I'm going to accept, because we don't want to lose the prestige. That puts us to war against Lithuania and Bohemia. Um, I mean, obviously we want Poland not to lose, because the Commonwealth becoming very, very powerful is really, really good for us. Um, we could go and start sieging out Bohemia. Not too sure we're going to be able to get any um, access through anywhere, if I'm honest. Hungary aren't going to give me access because we're rivaled. Um, Austria would give me access. Let's go and move the transports over here. Let's get everybody moved across. I mean, of course, we could just stay down here twiddling our thumbs and not getting involved. I don't really have an awful lot of manpower. You're in the wrong place, aren't you? To just do that as a straight hop. Oh, we'll get... Oh, no, they can They can get across, I think. As I say, we don't really have the manpower to really get involved in that fight, but I really don't... And um, Bohemia are involved in a couple of different wars... And I really don't want Poland to lose because having the Commonwealth on our side, we don't we're allied with Poland. We don't want a weak Poland. We want a strong Poland. Uh, you can move over there as well. Again, we're going to be taking attrition, which isn't great when you don't have manpower to begin with. Got our CB against the Mamluks. That's going to have to wait. We can't really do anything with that. Um, let's also improve relations with Bavaria. Actually, no, let's not do that. Um, because we need to try and get our... Um... Do we have access through here? We do. We already have access through Austria. Now, where's Bavaria's capital? Prague. Let's just go, let's just go and march on Prague. If we can get them to give up Prague, then... Well, if we can get Bavaria out, that's really going to help. Uh, so I will do what I was going to, which is go and improve relations with Bavaria. Who's likely to become the next emperor? It's actually looking like um, Brandenburg at the moment. Maybe sucking up with Brandenburg is not a bad idea. But still, some of my guys are busy. I appreciate I'm going to be taking a lot of attrition here. I don't really know where Bohemia's army is, so I don't want to go too far away. 
Does this guy have any siege value? He doesn't. We could detach a siege and then move on to one of their other um, forts. It's always risky, though, when you've got multiple forts, because sometimes it's difficult to get back out and protect a fort that you were... Uh, you know, it's just hard to get all of your army back together. So I think I'm just going to suffer the attrition there for a little while. So it is going to hurt us a little bit in manpower, but I don't think that's too bad. Um, you guys might as well just dock up in Venice. The two heavies will be there shortly. Ten Papal Influence or five Prestige. We'll take the Prestige because Papal Influence is worthless to us at the moment. Poland is apparently winning. And if we can, if we can get Bavaria out of the war, um, uh, Bohemia even. There's Bohemia's army up there. Now we're in farmlands. They're actually just trying to siege out um, Poland at the moment, though. So it'd be nice if um, Poland actually engaged them. It was really annoying that I don't actually have a military leader here that um, has any siege value. Uh, we are... Bohemia's on tech level 5. We're on tech level 6. So we do have a tech advantage when it comes to military. Yep, they're just sieging out bits of Poland while we're sieging out their capital. I was thinking about going in there, there and sieging out... Um, Erga, but it might be better to move forwards and siege out um, Moravia because it kind of blocks them a little bit more. Hopefully we will get this um, this province quickly. Defenders Desert is actually working out quite well. Uh, they are actually moving in now. Right, um, they're probably going to attack me. I'm a little bit worried about this, but I think I might let them attack because winning this could be pivotal. I'm going to click a little attach icon on there in the hope that we get some friends to come and help us. They are coming to engage me. They have a 2-1 leader. I have a 1-0 leader. I have 3 maneuver. So they do have a better leader. They do outnumber me. And it is farmland. Um, they will take a river crossing penalty. We do have a tech advantage. So I think I'm going to allow them to engage me. I'll be prepared to run away if the worst happens. We rolled a 9 in the fire phase. We rolled an 8 in the shot phase. That's very good. 6 on a 6. A 0 in the shot phase. That's not so good. A 6 to a 4. 4 to a 6. It's all going to come down to these last couple of rolls. We rolled a 0. Of course we did. We actually won that battle. Now we took some heavy losses... Looks like they may actually even get wiped out by Poland there. Not too sure why they didn't get instant stack wiped. I guess Poland had quite a small stack. Can't believe you actually just lost that battle there, Poland. That was actually quite poor. Now, if those, if those guys decide to come back in and engage me again, which they probably are now, and I'm actually quite... Um, quite weak in terms of numbers. I'm going to go and do a shift consolidate here. Can't believe you lost to them, Poland. They're going to come and engage me again now. I've got a very weak front line, but we're so close to completing that siege again. Uh, they start off by rolling a 9 to my 1, which isn't great. Uh, they roll a 7. They roll a 1. So they've got a better leader. The river crossing penalty is kind of offsetting the leader. Um, did we lose that? We did. We lost. Um... And where are we shattering to? We want to get right out of here if we can. We want to get back to our own territory. We're blocked by a hostile fort. No, we're not blocked by anything. We're getting the hell out of there. No, we got stack wiped. Ouch. That hurt. Um, don't know why we're saying we were blocked by a hostile fort. We really shouldn't have been. Well, we've got money. We've got no manpower. We've got to merc up. We can't sit around without an army. Somebody will declare war on us. So we are going to spend a lot of money. We're going to hire as many mercenaries as we can afford. We are going to... Deselect you, group up and mothball the heavies... 
Don't think we need to have the heavies out. That was so annoying. I was trying to help them win the war. We got so close to sieging their capital. And, um, you know, we just couldn't quite do it because Poland didn't come and help us. It was very annoying. Could have could have got them out of the war. I mean, we are still technically winning the war. Um, let's go ahead and move the transports back out. Because we want to get all of these um, guys together. We want a better general. I think that's part of the problem we've got here. What's our leader like? That is a hell of a lot of manoeuvre. He's actually quite good. He's got no siege, but wow. Just wow. Um, force limit. We are going to need a couple of cav. So let's go ahead and get a couple of cav. And we are out of money. We're out of money, but still making money. No problem with making money. Let's try and get all of our guys together just in case they decide to come down. Such a shame that we didn't manage to grab their capital. Starting to move in with uh, with mercenaries now. Group you guys together. I'd like you to get across there as well, please. At least well, the good thing with Venice is very, they can easily afford mercenary armies, which means that we'll, we'll actually be saving um, manpower still. Do we want to keep our current guy? I think... Oh, this is this is a hard one. I mean, he's a 3-6 leader. He's a 3-6 leader, but we don't have an awful lot of Republican tradition. I think we have to get another one. We'll get another diplomat. And hopefully he's nearly as good as a leader as the other one was. Let's go and have a look. See what we can get. Uh, Reroll our leader. Oh, well, he's not too bad. He's a 3 one two. He's got some manoeuvre. At least he does have some shock. So that's better than what we had before. There's the cavalry. Obviously, we're not making as much money per month now. We're still making a fair bit. But obviously not making as much... Um, No, we're nearly there. Uh, just looking at improved relations with Napoli. It's getting there. Just keep trying to get more units wherever we can. The more ma the more men we have, the better. Did I just build a normal regiment there? I think I did. Wasn't the plan, but oh well. We shall continue to try and get mercenaries. just can't afford them we are making still nearly five ducats per month though um okay we'll recall that diplomat still can't afford a minute arms eh 16 ducats uh now currently losing the battle I would like to try and do that again, but I'd like to try and do it with superior numbers. I think we might march over there, and I'm just going to keep producing more men and getting them over. So let's go back and try and get Prague. We'll stay attached to this unit. In the meantime, I'm going to continue to produce mercenaries over here, and I'll keep just sending them up just to build the stack up. If we can get um, Bohemia out of this fight, it'll really help th um, throw things over. I think we can actually stay here and siege this one first. It's not their capital, so they're most likely not going to bother breaking their siege to come and attack. Although they are already at 21%, but we should be okay. Um, Florence, we are at our as much as we can increase with Florence, apparently. Florence have expanded quite a lot here. Uh, why can't we get more? Uh, have a claim. Aggressive expansion, border friction. There are some problems there. Uh, I would like to send them a gift, but I can't really afford to. We could al ally them. Am I over my diplomatic relations limit? No, I'm not. guess we could ally Florence. Could be interesting. You are rivaled with the Papal State. You're allied with France. 
yeah, that seems like an interesting little um, trifecta to have. That will complete the mission as well. So we'll get another mission here. Conquer the Greb and accumulate money. Where's the Greb? Um, sounds familiar. Ah, that one there. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit difficult. We'll try and accumulate money. We probably won't manage it, but we'll try. Um, he, he, what? Oh, we randomly got squished by flipping Austrian rebels. Nice. Just what I needed, Austria. Um, that didn't work out as well as I would have liked it to. Ah, we managed to occupy that. Those guys are being engaged. They are going to lose. But at the same time, they are very weak. Although there's a big Lithuanian stack coming down there. Now, as long as they sit on that province and don't come my way, I might have to just run away if that ends up being the case. So I'm really going to have to keep my eye on this battle now. Uh, we can go through Bavaria. So let's go and do that. I've got to be careful here because I just can't cannot see where they're... Um, why did we lose that? Oh, because of that one. Fine. Fine. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. Diplo power for inflation? Yep, sure. Do we take the next idea? Is it worth it? Trade efficiency plus 10%? Yeah, that's worth it. We're getting a bit below behind on Diplo, but that doesn't matter. Yep, Austria, you go and deal with your rebels. You are not coming my way. You're heading back north. That's fine. You keep heading back north. Um, can't afford another guy right now. There's no point sieging that out, really. Because unless we get that um, fort there, it's just going to come back. Let's keep you guys grouped together. Just watching where their stack might be going. It's up there currently. We're still losing this war. We've got a wall breach, which is good. Uh, we can afford another mercenary. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's just try and keep the pressure on. Make sure we've got enough units to deal with anything they might throw at us. We got so close. We were up to 35% before with that siege. So close to actually getting their capital. If we can get these guys out, that's going to make life a lot easier for us. Big Polish stack coming towards us, which might help out. You guys just keep going around and stop them from hassling me. And if you can stop them from hassling me, I'll get them out of the war for you. How does that sound? Sounds like a bloody good deal if I were you. I'm already up to 7% on their capital. I appreciate the money I'm spending on mercenaries to get this war won for you. Just make sure you do the job right. They've got a lot of men, but like I said, getting... If we actually look here, uh, we are paused. Bohemia's got 13,000 men, 6,000 infantry. So there's nearly 20,000 uh, 20, men in this that all belong to bohemia one mercantilism very very good 14 percent chance of taking that capital but that is something that we will find out in the next video so thanks a lot for watching guys i hope you're still enjoying eu4 as venice i'll see you next time and until then goodbye for now